Hi guys, this is Swapna Jha. Today we are going to uh, do the Verilog code for the vehicle lamp, tail lamp controller system. For that, there is a vehicle and there are the five input uh, buttons and and the two output buttons, uh, left indicator lamp and right indicator lamp. If the left, if the right turn of the input is on, then vehicle should vehicle output should be and the uh, life in right indicator should be run in the sequence of 0 1 2 3 0 1 2 3 and if the left it uh, left turn is on left turn is on then the uh, vehicle left turn button should be flashed like the 0 1 2 3 0 1 2 3 <coughs> 0 1 2 3 and the for the uh, s0 the left indicator should be right uh, sh uh, should have the this sequence means 0 0 0 if the sequence is 1 that means sequence is here then it should it should uh, flash like 1 0 0 and similarly for the uh, other other states and the other uh, right hand side lamp uh, right hand side lamp also so uh, we are going to do the uh, very low code for this and uh, there is one more thing if the emergency button is on uh, the left indicator and right indicator both should be turned on with the sequence of 0 1 2 3 2 1 0 0 1 2 3 2 1 0 and if this should continue till the emergency is on and uh, this uh, emergency on should be flash uh, flash the, to double that double that of the flashing rate of the uh, what is uh, left when when in the when the left or right turn mode is on in the normal mode okay this is our uh, this is our question uh, so we are going to uh, see now the state diagram for this question okay so this is the state diagram for the uh, question if the left turn or right turn is on then uh, then the uh, present state is s0 then s1 then s2 and s3 and the s1 s2 and the out corresponding output are written here it should go to as s0 statements it's 0 0 0 and, and and at that time when the output should be output that is left indicator and right indicator should be 0 0 0 and 0 0 0 0 similarly for s1 state the left indicator should be 1 0 0 and right indicator should be 0 0 1 so likewise i have written the uh, s0 to s3 and when the emergency is on it should go from this s0 s1 s2 s3 s4 and s5 and again come back to the s0 so s4 and s5 i have just changed the uh, uh, parameter value states value for s4 it's s4 and the at the at s4 uh, left indicator should be 110 and right indicator should be 011 and for the s5 uh s5 a uh, left indicator should be 1100 and right indicator should be 001 so uh, this is our uh, state diagram for the uh, left or right button is one and when the emergency one and and remember we when we are when we want to uh, go in the emergency state this s0 to uh, this uh, this sequence s0 to s5 and again back to s0 should be flashed in the double that of the this the normal mode left turn on or right turn on on okay let me see the recording yes so uh, so so this is our very low code for the <clears throat> very low code for the machine we are going to implement this using the uh, using the EDA playground and and this is my code in this code uh, first I have declared the uh, inputs that is clock reset left turn for left turn I have just made it the short form L LT and then right turn then emergency for emergency EM then uh, for the output output should be the sequence of the three bulbs right here so that we have to uh, declare them as a uh, as a vector vector uh, 2 colon 0 uh, li ri and then uh, <clears throat> then uh, then uh, we then i then i have declared them as a present state and next state as a register a register in order to store the information of state and then 
to uh, and then I have declared the uh, state numbers as a S0 to S5 and I have given the respective values into them as a parameters and uh, and the I and then later I have uh, declared the uh, output value output variables li left indicator and right indicator as the uh, as the uh, register in order to store that information okay so uh, then again uh, we want this uh, s0 to s5 uh, s0 to s5 sequence uh, to run when the uh, uh, when the only on the positive edge of clock so that's why um, when always uh, always at the rate at pause edge of clock if reset equals to one then output should present present state should be s0 and otherwise present state is the next state then but when when the uh, emergency is one we want this uh, this, uh, this sequence to be run so in order to do do that i have declared the uh, another always block in that if uh, if either of the positive edge or negative edge of clock if emergency is one then uh, uh, emergency one then uh, if the reset is equals to one then present state should get the uh, as you should go to the s0 state otherwise it should go to the next state okay so we have declared this uh, uh, this uh, block uh, these blocks uh, present state state present state and next state then uh, we then we are going to the main main part for the code uh, uh, in this block uh, we have the uh, here we have the input four inputs right uh, emergency right uh, uh, left turn uh, turn left and turn right so uh, in order to implement this state diagram this state diagram uh, we are going to we are going to uh, declare the uh, cases so uh, if the emergency is one then uh, we don't want this normal code to run so normal code to run this this we do not want so what we are doing we are uh, setting this emergency as the highest priority so that's why if the emergency is equals to one then um, then begin case case present state and then uh, if the s0 uh, if the present state is s0 then output should left indicator and right indicator should go should get the value 000 and 001 and the next state should be s1 as per the diagram look here <clears throat> and uh, if the uh, present state is s1 then a left indicator and left indicator uh, should get the uh, 100 and 001 and the next state should be s2 uh, similarly for the uh, s0 to s5 state i have written the whole code whatever i have uh, drawn and whatever i have written here over here and then uh, when And then uh, when either of the left turn or right turn is one, then we want then we want this uh, uh, with then then we want this uh, this to uh, this code to be run. So in order to do that, uh, suppose if the uh, either of the uh, in order to get the value of which uh, whoever the whoever among the uh, left turn or right turn is on uh, i'm going i i use the left turn uh, uh, if a uh, left turn or with right turn and uh, and begin if uh, case present state if s is if uh, present state is s not s not then uh, s not then this should be run and in that if the left turn is on then uh, Hello. output should be Hello. output should uh, then uh, <clears throat> if the present state is s not then uh, then if the left turn is on then output should get the 000 000 and uh, uh, if the right uh, right turn is on then output should also get uh, 000 the next state would be the s1 according to this according to this our state diagram okay and then next if the present state is s1 then left and and suppose if the left turn is on then output should get the 100 
according to this question 1 0 0 and the uh, le uh, obviously both cannot be 1 at the same time so other one should be off so other one will be 0 0 0 and if the right turn is on then uh, right turn is on then uh, left turn should be get 0 0 0 uh, 0 0 0 and the right turn should be 0 0 1 and the next state would be the uh, next state would be the s s2 and similarly for the uh, if the present state is s2 the next state would be the s3 and the sequence would be the as given in the question and similarly for the s3 what i have writ, uh, written over here in the diagram uh, i have written over here in the code okay uh, and if on uh, default case the default case both the indicator should get the 0 0 0 okay and then end case and then end model this is our uh, verilog code for this uh, code and in the test bench uh, in the test bench i have written the full name in order to uh, get no whole variables in the uh, variables in the in the uh, output window so uh, module uh, swap test and uh, swap swap tb and then uh, i have declared register as the input inputs in the uh, main code and then wire as the uh, wire as the outputs uh, uh, here also we uh, we want them to uh, two colon one uh, that is vectors and then i have uh, instantiated the instantiated the um, this uh, our code and uh, and then I have made the I have initialized the clock to zero. Then uh, I have toggled the clock for after ten units, uh, after every ten units. And then I have created the clock by using this statement. Then initial begin and then uh, emergency. Don't let me change. Hmm. Okay. And then emergency is equals to one. Then I have made reset for the sum one for the sum time. Then at the same time left left uh, R and L means left turn and right turn both both are uh, zero and then I have kept them zero for the sum time then I have uh, zero and I have made the reset is equals to one then after some time I have made the reset is equals to zero and then then after uh, emergency one then uh, left turn one and then right turn one uh, then left turn is equals to zero then after some time i have made the right turn is equals to one and then in this uh, block in in this initial block uh, i have made the uh, one the uh Swapnajar dot vcd uh, file and um, i have dumped the, all the variables in that file by using this command dump flash and then after the 700 units of time i have finished the uh, code so here is the output waveform uh okay you can see uh here uh, here it is the clock and uh, it is uh, basically uh, changing for the after every 10 units you can see here and uh, here it is the reset button uh reset button then this is l means left turn uh, this is our input and l indicator lamp this is our output and then right right this is the input and this is the output and the, this is our emergency input okay so we will see the whether our code is working fine or not so let, let me just change this to binary and zoom it out a little bit okay as you can see here uh, when the uh, reset is equals to 1 until this point until 200 uh, 200 seconds uh, the output is 0 irrespective of this uh, inputs uh, left left turn right turn and emergency and uh, when the uh, after the 200 seconds uh, when the input uh, when the uh, left turn becomes 1 then the output uh, output of the left indicator lamp it starts changing to uh, sequence of the 4 then 6 then 7 then 0 uh, as per given in the question like okay and then for the uh, uh, when and when the emergency becomes 1 after the 300 uh, seconds uh, at uh, as we as we have written at always at the positive passage or negative of clock output should change that is the double the frequency of the uh, what uh, whatever we have given to the um, input left uh, left in, left turn and right turn when the normal mode uh, it is changing at the double the rate and it's the sequences 
let me zoom out a little bit okay so now you can see here uh, it is changing like for the left indicator ramp it is running like uh, six seven six four zero then uh, uh, then four six seven uh, as as per given in the question it is zero one two three then two one zero uh, like zero one uh, left indicator ramp zero one two three the zero means binary zero one means bin uh, binary four two means binary six and three means binary seven so this is running like this only is it like seven this is uh six seven six four zero four six seven and the uh, right indicator lamp it is both uh, both are the uh flashing simultaneously and uh its sequence should be as per the question its sequence should be zero one two three and two zero one then it right indicator lamp should be zero uh, zero one two three and then two one zero that means binary zero then binary one then binary three then binary seven then binary three then binary one then binary zero and so on so let let us see what it is it is the uh, binary three then binary seven binary three binary one binary zero then binary one then binary three binary seven binary three binary one binary zero so uh so we have verified that this left uh this uh, vehicle system is working fine so this is our code for the uh, vehicle control uh, vehicle control system uh, vehicle control system